This is Red All Over at Oaks Working Men's Club in Arnsley. Thanks to Oaks for having us, one of our business supporters. We've got Alan, we got Andy, we got Craig, and we got a little audience as well to echo us. How are we doing, audience? Hey! They'll probably give us a bit of abuse later, so that's fine. Uh, any of you on Twitter? No. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah. Good. <laughs> anyway, as always, Reds, we appreciate your likes on the show. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. We talk all about Barnsley and League One as well, so we'll be talking about your team when we play them. Uh, so get your predictions in for our prediction competition. Tonight's talking points, Adam Hamill, um, a Barnsley player that I know we all love, um, you know, scored some great goals for Barnsley, some absolute wonder goals, including the two at Wembley, Oakwell South. Uh, we're going to be talking about him as he's announced his retirement this week. Where does he rank among Barnsley's best ever players? Uh, so get in the comments, let us know for you where he ranks. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the under 18s. Uh, they've got a game tomorrow night, so that's Thursday night, 7 pm. Uh, our woolly hats are still on sale. Can you model it for us, Andy, mate? That's what I asked you to come for. You had one, you had one job. One job, go on. Oh, checking his time. Anyway, we got that, and then we're going to go and do uh, Shrewsbury and our predictions. Get little Alan, Andy, George, and Isaac on. As you can see, beautiful. It's getting cold, guys. Get your woolly hats red all over. Um, we really appreciate you supporting the show. Right, let's crack on then. Adam Ammel. For me, I think that Adam Ammel is my favourite player of all time. Big statement, but I'm going to say that, Craig. What about you? I have, to, I, have to, I have to agree. I mean, for the years I've been watching, <clears throat> he's the only player I can remember that can turn, turn a match from a loss to a win just with his presence on pitch, his determination to get rest at lads going, running at players, just cha just changing the match. I mean, and the goals, some of the goals he can he, he scored. I mean, Wembley twice, same season, he's won it. same Absolutely. finish, unbelievable player. Andy, where does he rank for you? Because I'm interested to see, because Craig and me, I think we're similar ages, are yeah. we, Craig? Yeah, so yeah, for us, like, Adam Ammel is up there, but what for you? Because you've got, you've got a few more years on us, just a few. What are you looking at him for? He's got more than me. <laughs> I see I'm last <laughs> again. Just put Alan in court. Sorry, right. sorry, Andy. Well, it's just, uh, come it's here. Right. Come, no, on, no, no, no. come on, Carry on. <laughs> I'm not going to say another can, word. Can we have an awe from the audience? Again? Oh, oh. Get, that, thanks for violin as well. Go on, me, we go. Go on Mr Simcox. <laughs> You're not going to say out again, Alan. Mr Simcox, Mr. Simcox. who's your best? Mr Smith. Flipping it. For me, he's second. The, the, the one of them all, and I'll see what Alan says, but I'll put money... He'll just say it different just to be awkward now. Put money that Alan will say something different like me. He'll say Ronnie Glavin because there were nobody like Ronnie Glavin. He'd get the ball anywhere and he would go straight down the middle to goal. Superb. But second, you're absolutely right, Adam Hamill. The se he was excellent the first time he came. Really good the first time he came. And he got a big money move for him, didn't he? And, you know, for that, for that old please for him because he went to one of my mates's clubs, Wolves, and it didn't work out really for him then. When he came back, he's one of the few players, uh, as Craig said, that gets you off your seat. That he gets the ball, he can get the ball at the halfway line, or he did, and people would be up because something was going to happen. And he often did. That, that running down, cutting inside, and that curling it in. He won us two trophies at Wembley. Two trophies at Wembley. Not only did he help get us promotion by his his goal against, particularly against Millwall. Not only that, he changed the season round. When he came, we were really low down in the table. And almost single-handedly, he gave that belief to everybody else in that team that we could do it, and we finished up in the playoffs and game promotions. So he didn't just get you off your seat and score some great goals. He changed the season. That season was unbelievable. I mean, what was it? Eight defeats in a row, I think, under Lee Johnson. We lost to Altrincham. We were dead bottom. Dead bottom. Dead bottom. We were. I can remember because I was working in my job at time and I was looking at the table and my head was just in my hands. And um, then from then on it just... Sure was. Spit. Like, 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 like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, They're all taking the mick out of me because we've had a little a photo A bit more feeling shoot, than that. So, that uh, we've had Craig. Good, we've had Craig. Craig that. Like, oh, smash That's the smashed the table. All like, <laughs> Maybe mid-show. Oh, hey, oh, hey, are you still here, Al? Are you on assessment now? <laughs> I, I can zip and say a word now. <laughs> Ronnie, I didn't get that reference, by the I, way. I did, I did, I did. Oh, come on. Dun, 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 no. 
Oh, come on, no. Zip it on the nose, Zippy and George. Usually we do context. They're no idea of the. I'll tell Adam. you this in a minute, right, Joe. Okay. Adam Apple, Adam Apple. No. Ronnie Glovin, Neil Redfern, and then Adam Ammel. Third. Third. He's, he's, not, he's not in top two for me. There's two there, and I put Eric Winston up there as well. Uh, Winnie, in our early years, yeah. uh, were, were, were class. And it were only his injury to his knee that he didn't go any further. And he could have been an England international at Winstonley. Uh, it just stopped that injury, stopped him going into first division, as it was then. I think one of the things I loved about Adam Hamill is the fact that in a Barnsley shirt, he always did it. We talked about he came back. When he came to us for the second time, it weren't like he was, you know, a, a player that was in high demand from lots of clubs or anything like that, was it? It was, you know, it was, his career, mm -hmm. unfortunately, faltered a bit. But then he came back and, did, and Andy, you were saying, weren't you? Well, Pastor Josh's dad, as always, Josh, part timer, isn't he? Hey, up, Josh. Oh, go be watching at home, mate. You were saying, weren't you, that for you, one of the big things were that, that you know he, he didn't do it at other clubs, but our club, for whatever reason, he just he just did. Yeah, that, he, he only ever did it for Barnsley, but only a world beater for Barnsley. That was my opinion of him. It, when when he did his big move, it, it just didn't happen, did it? And the football, it was better. But if you're going on the one, two, three, or whatever, I will exactly the same as Alan. Is third for me. Is Ronnie Glavin. It's not. It's not good for you, by the way. Good for your health, agreeing with Alan. No, but it's when you're right, you agree with Alan. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 do you think? What What do you reckon, Adam? I'm all for you. Chris? I'm with old Joe, mate. Is um is up there? With... Just because he's presented, you <laughs> have to agree. No, with him. he's he's up there. With... He just my wants generation. a free happy clap of t-shirt, <laughs> don't you? I know what no. it is. No, from my generation, he is, a, he is the, you know, he's up there with. Anybody above him or would he be top? If you had one player to bring back, would he be your number one? Bobby Assel. Bobby Assel. Yeah. Oh, so Bobby Assel come first. What, what about you, Dave? Do you want to come in and uh, tell us what you well, think? I'll just have a, just have a quick word. Um, <laughs> where does Craig Ignat and Martin Bullock fit in these? Oh, that's well, interesting. Fair, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, Adam Hamill did it down at Wembley, but so did Craig Ignat. He did it down at Wembley as well. So, yeah, for me, Craig Ignat's in that list somewhere along the line. Interesting, interesting debate. And super, su and super sub. Yeah, I think we can all admit, though, that Adam Hamill's definitely, what, top five? Andy, is that fair? Oh, it, he's, yeah, easily. I mean, there is... For, for me, there are some players that just fit with some clubs. And for our club, and exactly what Andy's been saying about um, Adam Hamill did it, did it for us. I also thought Ronnie Glavin did it best for us. Um, and I thought Craig Hignett did it for us. And Martin Bullock did it for us. Redfern did it for us. Um, and not so much elsewhere. Brian Howard did it for us and were outstanding for us for a few seasons, and then when he went to wherever he went, and I'm not going to mention them, because they, well, they lost last night, so it don't matter. When he went, when he went to Sheffield United, he... Um, <laughs> it, Sorry, ah, it's Sorry Craig. It's a fun. It's a fun. But, <laughs> 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 I, you, I said, you were moaning because Bolton lot were giving you and your John some I stick, said, or so, so I'm trying I to said, protect you from the comments. I'm sorry, Sheffield United, it was only a joke. It was just in banter. I don't mean it. Yeah, God, I'm not kidding. Yeah, fit with some clubs. They play the best football with some clubs, and those for me are the ones that fitted best with our club. And I didn't quite do it elsewhere with other clubs. Could be wrong, but that's how I saw it. So, yeah, Adam Hamill, absolute it, it, superb. It, whoa, easy, Al, easy. And we all, rem we all remember when he first came back, his first game against York City as well. In Ca well, that Caribou or John, no, Johnson's Pate, wasn't it? Yeah, Johnson's Pate. And he, he got a goal there, didn't he? We beat him 2 1 and it cracking strike. But he was blowing, wasn't he? That night, he, he were really. It, 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 was it was shattered. <laughs> but the story I'm going to tell you about Adam Hamill, a joker, and a joker probably in dressing room as well. It was at Macmillan Cancer at Oakwell. It was there when we lost uh, our coach for whatever he did. And they were, weren't going to have the. Uh, Coffee morning because what all kicked off, uh, and as it happened, I'm in club shop there, and Adam Mammals, uh, I'm there going to shake Adam Mammals' hand, and I thought his hand's a bit awkward here. He's, he's got a what's with his hand? 
shakes my hand. White is trying to fill me to battery went, and I shook his hand. I end up with dummy from shop. I'm going to just let it come, and it comes out his sleeve, and have him there stood with a plastic dummy's hand. That's Adam Hamill. He knows you too well, Al. That's all I can say on that one. <laughs> it's a right surprise, isn't it, that a star of Barnsley got a photograph with Alan Smith? Oh, oh, yeah. oh Neil, that had happened. I, it's a first. There's, there's a story. Oh, not another no, story. There is a story there. <laughs> Here we go. Nobody, in, to, we went, before we went to Wembley, we were in Lambra and they were doing a face off, and none of the players wanted to do it. So I'm there with Kate. I said, I'm not shy, I'm going in. I've got this photo with me and Adam Hamill, face to face, stare off. Kate sent it then. Uh, to Johnson's Paint and that photograph got two tickets or two or four tickets to the final free. She won a competition. And he wonders why we restrict his time on show. It's because once he gets going, he's off. Story, story time with Alan Smith starts next week. New show. Since we've still not got Josh back with his away ends. Oh, it's only banter, Josh. Only banter. Go on, Craig. What, um, what did just, you love about him the most? Like, what's what's the thing to finish off? I well, mean, uh, well, I think I think progress. what did it for me and what underlines any great player, in my opinion, is the fact you can do something and opposition know you're going to do it, but they still can't stop you. How many times did he cut in from that left wing? Every right back and centre back knew exactly what he was going to do, but he still managed to do it every time. And for me, that is what underlines a great player. It's like uh, you see early in Ireland now, you know what he's going to do. You know. You just can't stop it. You just can't stop it. And for for me, you see so many players leave Barnsley, young players that have played brilliantly for us and just not be able to do it somewhere else. I think it's... it's, uh, I feel like at a minute we're a feeder club for other big clubs. They come to us for star players. But... Getting under Adam Hamill back, I think, were one of the best transfers we've done in history because he made such a change. He is such a talented player. And I don't know what happened at Wolves. He must not have been given the time because he had Prem quality all over him at that age when he was so young. You know, um, and when you're on about his, his um, I mean, his humour... You can tell his scouse through and through because, I mean, some of the best people I've ever met have been scouse. They are hilarious. They don't care and they're just so funny. But he, that's what he will like. And he will like that on ball. He would take the mick over and over and over again. And um, he gave fans, uh, away fans, a bit of banter and as that well. that composure, played yeah. with that penalty. Wow. I <laughs> thought, he's, he's come away, ticked crossbar and went in, didn't he? <laughs> I, mean, I think for me, it was just the, his passion. Mm. His love for Barnsley as well. He loved playing in a red he shirt. He cried when he went off against Derby. That's that, what got me. It broke my heart, that. Yeah, I, I was nearly in floods of tears as well. It's not the like, way we wanted it to end after no, everything. No, that, you know, no. We've got to try and remember but, the good but times. But I, I must say, I would love nothing more than to do what Devane has done and come back on coaching staff. That passion, we need that in dressing room. We need that on training pitch. Especially such... I mean, we were talking about how young this team is and how young the players are. Who better than somebody that's been that young, has gone to the heights he went to, and to give the impetus to these players about how high you can go if you give it everything. Every game, whether you're winning, whether it's raining, whether it's a Tuesday night in some of the world's worst parts in England, you know, if you give it your all, you can go exactly where you want to go, and that's all the way to the top. And I think that would be absolutely brilliant for Adam Hamill to come back if we could. I'd very much... Oh, okay, yeah, which one do you want? I don't care. <laughs> Gareth Craig's. Either. Um, for me, at, at the very least, I, I think it'd, it'd be great if he came back as an ambassador of the club. Mm. Whether he'd make a good coach or not, I don't know. He might well do. I'd, I'd, I'd like to know about, you know, the greatest players don't always make the best coaches, but he's got the passion. Mm. So, you know, you would hope, you would hope that he has and he can impart his knowledge, at the very least as an ambassador, in the same way now that Barry Murphy does. But if not, you know, if he could, if he could do it as a coach, then give him the chance. Yeah, watch this space, see what happens. I know the club have said that they're going to get him to one of the games this season, hopefully, so we can all give him a proper Barnsley send off, which is what. If you, you want know, to be a coach, he'd obviously do. have to get the badges and that yeah, take yeah. time. But yeah, I mean, just to, just to have him in Oakwell again yeah. for the fans, it'd be absolutely beautiful. Especially that can remember that glorious season, Wembley twice, all that. I mean, in in a, in a time when. There's questions about certain things around and in the club, you know, fetching back somebody with the stature of this man for the fans, it'll be 
I mean, it's, it's a no brainer. Immeasurable. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a no-brainer. no-brainer. Yeah. If Definitely. we can get a testimonial for him, I know we can't do it till end of season yeah, stuff yeah. like that because obviously we're in, in season. But that I think that's I think he definitely deserves that. But I, th- I also think if you offered him a chance, he'd, he'd drop it. He'd jump at it straight away because. I think he loves Barnsley as much as Barnsley love him. Yeah, definitely. And that's mm. one of the things I love about him. Anyway, we are going to move on, but let us know your thoughts to Adam Hamill. Uh, send your tributes in to him. We really appreciate in the comments. And um, for any of the Barnsley players who might be watching, that's the bar. Like, you know, that's where you want. We want that passion and we know that, you know, you're giving us it. Mm, but that's, that's it. what that's what you want to aim for is, uh, is that. He's just such an artist with the ball. Creative, passionate, full of heart. I just loved him and that's what I want to see in every single Barnsley player. Um, right, moving on. You might have noticed we've got Barnsley Hospice as our new sponsors. I mean, that's, come on guys, that's deserves a clap from our, our little audience. <laughs> Got to give credit to the club. Obviously, we know that there was... Um, the heck stuff we'll uh, leave that behind I'm missing well you need to pull your finger out mate me and Craig <laughs> we get straight in there we, hey, I, 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 said, I, I said on Twitter at the time I didn't I didn't like the old sponsor Demo shall not be named <laughs> um, and I said I would not buy a shirt with their logo on it and I didn't but as, I said, I said, as soon as they, st- as soon as they get s- sponsored by somebody, I come back and somebody I can get behind, and I will. And I went the, the, as soon as I could. I went and got me and daughter one, and got Barnsley Hospital's logo on, and I couldn't be prouder yeah. of the club. Yeah, me too. I think it's a really good move from the club. And to let you know, uh, if you didn't know, it's a f- uh, five quid to get your Barnsley Hospice on the front of your shirt if you want to get the print, uh, and all proceeds go to Barnsley Hospice. So it's well worth doing reds uh, to get get on your shirts mm-hmm. if you if you're gonna get if you've got a shirt or you're gonna get one. Get get the hospice on five quid goes to them. So great cause. So yeah, yeah. well done to the club for that. Uh, I know they get a lot of stick, but we try to give them praise when they deserve it as well. Yeah, I know they'll probably yeah. get me some stick on Twitter just for being. <laughs> Nice, but it's all right. I've, I've got used to it now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Water off a duck's back <laughs> at this point. <laughs> um, right, so we are going to do our Shrewsbury predictions soon. We're going to get little Alan Andy on, um, but I just want to mention um, under 18s because they they absolutely smashed smashed it in the uh, FA Youth Cup last Friday, a five 0 win against. I get this right, Spenny Moore Town. Thought it was spending more at first, but <laughs> <laughs> spending more. <laughs> uh, I know Josiah Day got a couple of the go- I think it got one of the goals as well, a couple of the goals. Um, and they're playing uh, seven o'clock Thursday night, so that's tomorrow night. Hopefully, if I get this show out on time, uh, against under 18s Scunthorpe United, um, and that's free to go to, and it's in the West Stand. You can sit there and watch the game. I think that's important that we get fans to them games, guys, because these young lads, if we want them to step up, we talked about, obviously, we've got quite a slim squad. We need, you know, we've had players like Fabio Jello stepping up into the first team and then in the in the Pizza Trophy, we've had a few as well. We need to start them to have them playing in front of an audience so we and a crowd, don't we? So I think it's quite important, Andy, that we, we get get some people there if we can. You keep turning your head, so... Because yeah, he's good at... Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, we should... We should the, the part of the club, aren't we? We should support them. Of course we should support them. We want them to do well. We want everybody in the club to do well, and come on up through the through the ranks to the uh, to the first team or thereabouts. That's that that's where the club's going to prosper, isn't it? I'll get Smithy in on this because I know you like watching uh, young young youth sides. It is, isn't it? And it's great to see that Nicky Nicky Eden's back, and he's the under 18s coach, mm. and it looks as though he's got got him firing. Uh, we. Uh, Young uh, Jal- Jallo, is, is he playing with under 18s? I think he will be. Uh, well, it's might, not a minute, he's from he first team. Might, I know he is, but he might, he might play, I don't know. But Josiah, Josiah's playing in today yeah. and, and, and playing well and scoring goals. The one will I will say, I'm hoping that the win on Thursday night and they can all go, well, they're not under 18s, aren't they? They can't go to Eden's Bar in Barnsley. What's <laughs> opening on Friday night to celebrate, can they? <laughs> they can, but they'd have to have a, they'd have to have a, a cup. An appropriate adult. as always. <laughs> yeah. They'd have to have an appropriate adult. Prop and crisp, prop and crisp night to celebrate. Sorry, I don't know, I'm all can take them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's get little Alan Andy on George and Isaac to do their Shrewsbury Town predictions for this weekend's game. It's back to the league this weekend. Yes, time for the taming of the shrews. Don't you think that's a little high? Brow for this lot, maybe. Anyway, two one or not two one? That's the question. Not two one. I think it will be two nil to Barnsley. I think it'll be two nil to Shrewsbury. If you think you're better than predicting, then I'll get it in the comments down below. You right. That's what the youngins think. I've got my nuts out now, so I can. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be looking at you for so long. 
Family show. <laughs> family, show <laughs> family show. Family <laughs> show. Damn, I ain't you lot. I just meant me peanuts. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Al, bring it. Come on, bring it back into the room, mate. Disgusting. Why are you, why are you coming to me when you end up getting yourself? <laughs> oh, um, look, hold on. Who stopped touching my nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Say what you anyway, normally no. say, Al. I'm saying no. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, okay. Uh, we're doing this predictions. <laughs> Get your predictions in as always. Uh, Shrewsbury away this weekend. Um, everybody's, everybody's getting a bit merry now. Craig, bring us back to the room. Um, crew at home in FA Cup, not the best tie uh, first before we go on to Shrewsbury. Um, and we've got, is it Pizza Trophy draw this Friday as well, I think? Mm, well, it's it's not best, but it's not worse neither. Um, I think getting to the third round will be will be great for us. Obviously, if we can beat Crew at time, uh, when we play them. Um, but um, for me, I, I don't class it same as Pizza Trophy. I think I think there's there's an history there's an history with um, with FA Cup. You know, there's. A, I, I mean, there's an history with yeah, Pizza Trophy. Well, no, no. <laughs> now we won it. The, the Pizza <laughs> Trophy for me is just, just just a Come friendly. On, you know, right, not Pizza. It's Papa Papa Josh's. Papa Josh's trophy. It's Josh's yeah, special right. trophy. That's Papa what we're John. calling it around here at a minute. No, but FA Cup, I mean, historic. You want to do as good as you can. I don't care what team you are, whether you're in, in Ismian Leagues or you're up in Premier League. You want to be there as long and as far as you can play. And it's on it, it's one of the uh, cups where you, uh, you want to play the bigger teams, the biggest teams you can. Just because for clubs like us, I mean, Man City away a few years ago, um, going to going to big. Um, we we did play Man City. Didn't yeah, we got thrashed. We did, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, but no, but I'm yeah. saying. We're right there. Okay, don't think we lost five well, nil. Cracking day, okay. but you know, well, to, it, it was good to you see. Got to use City. the examples of Chelsea, to Liverpool. You know, when oh, we won yeah, in 2009. Man City, Rippers, Bart. Well, so what you're saying is you want what, us to draw Man City What I'm trying Alan. to say is give fans the chance to go to some of the biggest arenas in this country. You know, some oh, of the well. biggest... Oh, well, what more do you want? No, no, I mean, in, if we, I mean, next round, if we get a big team, if we get to go... He's assuming we beat Crew. Yeah, if don't, we beat Don't crew. assume anything. Remember Barrow last year? We got through that 5-4. Great oh, yeah, game. oh yeah, yeah, great game for a neutral, but five four, so don't get too. I've carried tried away. to blank that out of my memory, so thank I you just very think much for crew. For crew, it could they could be playing best, best club they could. They could only play a derby more, couldn't they? <laughs> I say, they play derby. Steve, if, the derby fan for context get, is our cameraman tonight. If if derby get through, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not so in, they're in the draw. That might be best they can hope for. So it's good for crew. I mean, crew are currently, and you know what's going to happen. Crew are current in League Two. 16th in League Two, but the bottom of their uh, form league at the minute, the, the bottom, bottom of League Two form league, they've drawn four and lost two. So they're right at the bottom of the four. So you know what's going to happen. When we play them, we'll help them out, won't we? That's, that's how it'll go if we're not careful. If we don't take them seriously, we'll help them out. If we take it seriously, and I think this time we will, then we should get through, shouldn't we? We should, but don't count your chickens. We did beat them two one last time we played them. I think in cup last year. We, we played them uh, what, a few years ago. We played them at their place, mm. uh, and we beat them at their place. We we got a goal. We run full length at pitch at Coke. We come up for corner, but the railway men are on strike, aren't they? So we've got a good chance. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> reference straight over my head. Tell him, Al. Tell it straight, uh, straight over my head. What, what do you think? Uh, what, what, uh, what? What? Tell him, Al. Tell I him wanted Rex. No, no, it's all right. We'll just leave him. Let him I keep saying this. I wanted Wrexham. I'm just going to drink at Wrexham. Just I, 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 I wanted Wrexham. To Wrexham I, but I'll, I'll watch it now. Like, oh, please, please, please. Uh, just wanted Ryan Reynolds to come to it. Well, I don't think it'd come. I don't think it'd come. We'd have been watching it on on some of mining towns, haven't we? Well, we've got that connection. I think. To be fair, I wanted a nice away tie somewhere big. I don't know. I just like I just like to go to big stadiums, I suppose. Because yeah. I mean, you don't, you're not going to get it much unless you get into Premier League. Are you? Yeah, yeah we'll go back to Newcastle. Well, to again. be fair, same, same as Bolton. You I ain't know. going up to those bleeds. You didn't like going up to those. <laughs> <laughs> I was just Bolton. saying. If you go to Newcastle, it's even worse. You so I like this Barnsley Hospital will be getting smaller and smaller logo, isn't it? If I'm going up to, we get to go to some big stadiums. Pride Park, you know, Hillsborough. <laughs> didn't, they, Steve, didn't, didn't, didn't Derby have the lowest amount of points in the Premier League ever? 
Uh, uh, all right, we're not picking on Derby too much. Steve's going to make comments, giving us some rating. Oh, uh, well, yeah. a bit of hate. Anyway, great moving far, on, man. Reds. Um, so, prediction competition. We'll get an update from Andy now. Uh, get your prediction in. Oh, what are you putting over there? I'll get it for him. Get it. Go on. Do some of that. Get him. Thank you, thank Watch you, out. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's just walked straight in front of the camera. Walked straight in front of the camera. Block the camera. Thank you very much, Reese. This is what you get with audience participation. Anyway, have, have, we mentioned, <laughs> have we mentioned the Papa John's trophy going to be drawn after the Sunderland Birmingham game on Friday evening? And if it turns out right, we're going back to Bolton, aren't we? Last 32. <laughs> Could it be a hat trick of Bolton this season? Not sure. Oh, well, I like his odds after last game. Anyway. No, well, we did beat him last time. I mean, right. I, I just want to see a point when uh, when their manager's head does explode because it is getting so close. I mean, <laughs> Luke Connolly lie. first game. I feel, for, I feel that our manager's if we do, game. If we do draw Bolton again. I just thought, just for him, I hope we're done. Um, right, okay. Let's do prediction competition. Usual thing. If you're new to the show, uh, it's three points if you get the correct scoreline. It's one point if you predict win, draw, or loss correct. So if you say Barnes is going to win and they do, you'll get a point. Um, and it's note if you get it wrong. Uh, prizes, we have two competitions, a mini one that's running until I think it's Bolton at home, first uh, game in January. So get into the, uh, the count, your prediction counts for both, and then an overall one throughout the season where there's prizes at the end of the season. So it's worth predicting whatever state you're in, whether you've just joined or whether you've been doing it for a while. Uh, Andy, what we got? Who's good mini competition first? Is mini competition who's top? Oh, I recognise I recognise that name. That's quite high up, isn't it? Who's that name? You're equal, th equal third, Joe. <laughs> Andrew Hitchin from Down Under. Andrew Hitchin, stop on nine. Dave Rayner, bless him. Last year's champion of champions. Current reigning champion of Barnsley. He's actually Barnsley got it in his Twitter champion. name as well, now. <laughs> to be fair, it is champion. a prestigious <laughs> award. There's about 117. Uh, he's gaining large now. He's gaining <laughs> large. He's second. And there's a load, load on seven. David Brown. Mr. Moshu. Michael Brewer. Matthew Baines. Yeah, I'm here, so. Dane Wood. What was that, Joe Beard? Yeah, British way. And then, and then, what made me you chuckle? Stick to your nuts. I don't know if you caught it on camera. Craig were looking for Rizzi and he's going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I know. Oh, I'm there. I'm Craig not... is on the same as Little George. Little Al is on the same as Little Three. Al. He can't do better than a nine-year-old. Now I can't say too much because I can't even do that well. <laughs> <laughs> I say we your name. So, so I'm not. I'm not saying that much about that. Actually, it's not right. Uh, and what's his overall competition? It's not right, good. Reese Pierce is well up. He's uh, Reese who's just watching from the two, camera. Three, four, five, six, seven, no nuts eight, for you, Reese. Nine, seven, keep, not sharing me nuts for you. Thirteen. Fourteen. He's fourteen. <laughs> We're low on five points. But you know, he's he's doing all right. He's Quite high up right. on that one though. Right, this uh, is the main uh, competition, isn't it? Let's have a look oh, at the Premier League. Premier League competition. Overall season. Josh's favourite person's top is hey, dad. <laughs> Andrew's top. Andy Atherton's top on 18 points. But, but, Mr. Mushu, Mike is on 18 points with him, as is Michael Brewer. And Reese Pierce, Reese Pierce, as one point behind, Claire Wilson, as we, a number of others, including John Fairweather, she's two points behind. So come on, Andy, come on. Pull it this week and get it right because they're catching. You've been there for ages. For ages, and they're all yeah, creeping up. Andy, can creeping. we can we just forget an opinion from Andy? Andy, how do you how do you feel as the current leader? Uh, proper, Joint leader. proper football, right. proper football interview. <laughs> you were ahead. You were ahead in the league. You were flying, and now you you joint level on points. I mean, are you feeling the pressure? Not feeling the pressure. I'm just taking advice off my son, which is not very good. <laughs> so that's why I'm, just, I'm I'm going to start predicting for myself again. Yeah. <laughs> Stop listening to Josh and and Reese. Feel the pressure because I'm Reece. coming for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Reese is going. It's coming for me. It's just me. Keep telling me. Yeah. Reese, you're doing really well, mate. Um, and your reward is you get to have one of my nuts. There you go. Pass, <laughs> pass him one of my nuts. Now that's enough of no, your cat refuse. What can I say? Come on, see if Reese can do it. Come on, Reese. Drum roll. Are we doing a throw? Oh. Yeah, it is. Rubbish. You just put it in his mouth. It did it. Anyway, oh, come off, man. anyway let's wrap. He didn't capture that. He did it like that. He did let's it. wrap it up. So, Shrewsbury, um, tricky game. We've obviously come back into a bit of form after a sticky patch, beating Forest Green, which was a decent performance, and then beating Bolton in the FA Cup. All right, do you want to do that anymore? Um, Shrewsbury away, 14th in the league. But un we're obviously eighth, but only two points behind us. There's like five points separating basically most of the league, Craig. So it's mm. it's at a point now. Josh mentioned it on show last, I think, that um, 
you know, one win takes you up to playoffs, one defeat can take you all the way down to just above relegation. It's it's a bit it's a bit mental at the minute. Yeah, I think that's why we love this league though. It's I mean it's so tightly contested every single year and it's just getting harder and harder with the big clubs coming down. Um but Shrewsbury, I mean I think last time, well, one last time we went away to them when Kenny Dougal got his unfortunate injury that I think near enough ended his bars of career because he didn't do much after that and he ended up leaving and then playing in a division above us. So, but um, yeah, yeah, it, well, it, 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 I mean, it was horrible neat. I, I can remember watching it, it was rain and everything. So, but um, no, this league it's it's like that. It's up and down, but I don't think they're in greatest form at league. Um, they don't seem to be be able to pull to pull the points against the teams up the top. Um, the, the, I mean, they've always been they've always been competitive in this league. They've never really been under much um, under much t- chance of going down. But um, yeah, it's I, I, we 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 got to look for the win against them. They're, they're not like I say if, if they come off a couple of decent results or something like that, I'd be a bit wary. But these are teams we need to take advantage of, and we need to go there dominate get the three points and move on. Yeah, definitely. Um, Al, I'll come to you next. You've still got 23 seconds of your quota this show, so um, try and be quick. Um, you have used a lot in your stories. Um, Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury, let us know which one you prefer. I don't really I don't really care. Um, <laughs> sorry, Shrewsbury oh. fans. Uh, <laughs> um, but um, details. Um, so they drew 1-0 with Portsmouth last game, 2-1 defeat to Plymouth, a 1-0 defeat to Charlton. So they're coming to this one Three without a win in the league. I think they did win in the pizza trophy against York, um, but not counting that. And then before that, they'd beat, they beat Fleetwood and MK Don. So the form is not great, but well, we played Markham the other week, whose form weren't great, and they, they beat us. It is, and we're recording this Wednesday evening, and tonight they're playing against Oxford at home. So if they win tonight, they go a point in front of us. So, you know... It's going to be a good game with two teams close together. Uh, I think that uh, Michael Duff's got uh, selection uh, choice to make after you know uh, Adam Phillips coming good with that goal, and uh, we've got uh, Norwood out. So it's it's going to be up to his selection to get it right on Saturday to go and attack at Shrewsbury. And I think all in all, I think we'll go there and put on a good show. Three seconds left to your allocated time, Al. Uh, <laughs> Andy, um, <laughs> I'm not having it, Al. I'm not having um, it. What do you think to Shrewsbury? We're going with Shrewsbury, what? I've decided now. Sorry, Shrews fans. Go on, what do you think to them? Uh, well, we, we said that they're not on a good run, but they're on exactly the same run as us. Exactly the same as us. They've, in the last six matches... I'm biased. Won. We're biased. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to get actual facts that... <laughs> <laughs> they make bars look bad. I despair, Andy. I despair. <laughs> They've won two, drawn one, and lost three, same as us. But stats are just stats. For their home games, we say home games. Home games, they've won three out of the last four matches at home. Lost the other one, but they won three out of the last four. So don't get too carried away. It might might even be four out of five after tonight. So, you know, don't get too don't get too giddy. They're not doing very well. They're not doing bad. They've had a spell and they're coming back. Three out of the last four at home, they've won. So, you know, don't get too carried away. In defence, they've got ex <coughs> Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs> Player Shea Shot Dunkley. Oh, yeah, you're just dead in great. I like that ear drum once upon a time. <laughs> Next time I'll have a drink of beer and do it right. <laughs> and, and and they've got Matthew Pennington at the back that they got. They had on loan last year and got from Everton. On loan from Everton. Got from, so they've got a strong defence. Strong defence. So it's... It's not going to be easy, you know. We, we're going to have to earn a win, so you know it's going to be going to be an interesting game. My recollection when we played them before is that they were, and I'm sorry to say it to them, quite industrial, and you know there were some tackles went in last time we played them in the league at their ground. Some tackles went in, and if I remember rightly, it's the game that Cameron McGeehan, I'm going to say posthumously, I don't mean that after the game got a three-match ban, so all the jokes about if we're going to play sent off, it'll be a three-match ban for Cameron McGeehan, because he got he jumped, in my view, jumped over a tackle Oh yeah, I recall this oh, one, it's yes. a bit of a and controversial got done. Controversial? Yeah, it were wrong It were just wrong <laughs> It was the wrong decision all right, He's it, come back into the room with his bias now, that's good so, yeah. <laughs> he, he jumped after a tackle, so he didn't get it jumped after a tackle, and they said he went down to jump and stamp on the man, did he, Ake? <laughs> 
We're talking rubbish. It didn't. We got bygones be, by, bygones be guy, bygones, good, and we can I'm letting it go. <laughs> but so if we get a player sent off this time, Cameron McGinn will get a three-match ban. <laughs> um, right, we'll do us predictions to finish the show then. Um, it's nearly time for tea. Um, I'm fancying a takeaway, so I'm going for an Andy special. 2-1 to Barnsley. I'm just copying you now, mate. That's it. You, you did well with it last time, so there we go. Al? I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to right, see a good up. game. I'm hoping I'm going to see a good game. Setting off at half past eight on Saturday morning with East Ian Reds. And I think we're spending a couple of hours in Oswestry and then we can get to Shrewsbury. So I'm looking for a 3 1 victory to Reds. Love it, Al. Positivity. Oh, that's it, mate. We'll make your notes. Go on, Craig. He's making his notes. Well, I'm actually happy that nobody's nicked my scoreline for the change. Um, but I'm, I'm going solid 2 0. I don't think they'll be able to break us down. And I know. I know you were saying, but against top opposition in this league, they've not done well. That's that's what I've got from looking at the results, but you never know. I'm going to go to crowd, we, we, and we're going to bring out. I'm just going to say, only, time, only way we lose is if we beat ourselves like we did against Markham, and we don't try. Beat ourselves, yeah, yeah. I like that for us. Because these, these guys are, are the, the, the guys on top at the minute, on top form, so... No pressure. I can see the sweat from here. Everybody come, um, around, come on. Come on, what do you reckon? What's your prediction? <laughs> You're missing not. <laughs> I'm sticking with Andy Special. I've got to 2 1 Barnsley. 1 0 Barnsley. Oh, both going for a win. So Ooh. that is positive. That's a positive sign. Come That's on, Andy, finish us off what we got. Oh, Dave, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Dave's with us, but he's hidden. He's hidden down the stairs. Oh, we need to get I'm him hiding. I'm keeping out of the way. <laughs> no publicity, just, stand up. Just holding it up. Um, I'm, going, I'm going well. I'm going 3 1. Everybody going for a win? Yeah. No. Andy? 1-0. Oh, oh, bring oh, bring it back one. in the room. That's one one. What, why 1-0? So we'll win. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, oh, if I don't go for my normal 2-1, we might get 2-1. Sacrificing oh, in a, his own league. Exactly the same. Three wins out of four. Exactly the same thing as us over the last six matches. Nailed on. one all draw. I like oh, your one. reverse psychology there, Mr Simcox. Well, that's where I'll claim, Al. If we win, I'll claim, I'll claim reverse psychology. If it's one all, I'll say, I told you. <laughs> right, we're going to wrap it up there, Reds. I'm going to share out the rest of my nuts and we're going to get off home for tea. <laughs> Does your missus know what you're now. doing Give when up. she's not here? <laughs> Give up tiger. now. Right, OK. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, yeah, round of applause. Let's have a There we go. Round of applause. Thanks to Steve and everybody at Oaks Working Men's Club. Get your send down for a, for a drink and some lovely nuts uh, anytime you want. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you, catch you at the weekend. You Reds. <laughs> <laughs>